Joining us right now to talk about this and all things Musk is Musk's biographer, Walter Isaacson, who also is a CNBC contributor. Um, Walter, I don't even know if we should start with this SEC case or wrap it into the Delaware case where uh, the judge well, decided... incoming missiles from all yep. sides. Yeah. And one question is, uh, he feels it's coordinated, that uh, the whole administration, everybody's coming at him for political reasons. I don't think that's true. I don't think there's some top-down Biden administration, let's do this and this. But I do think you've got regulators in all sorts of places that generally feel, hey, I can uh, do well by taking on Musk. They tend to not be politically aligned with him. They're part of bureaucracies. And uh, he's got a lot of incoming missiles. This SEC one is basically about how well did he report when he started buying Twitter shares back in 2022. And you know what? It wasn't, it wasn't as if he had the world's greatest uh, reporting standard saying, OK, I've reached this percentage. Right. He, he, and it said all along he was going to be a passive investor with some of those things. You know what? I mean, this is Musk. Yeah. He, I mean, I was there. It's chronicled in the book day by day. He's there being a passive investor. Suddenly, he's flying to Hawaii to borrow Larry Ellison's house. He gets mad at Parag Agarwal and the other uh, things. He changes his mind. Uh, changes his mind four or five times. We can see it over a weekend, both in Hawaii and up in Vancouver. So when the SEC says, were you a passive investor or not, you know, you, you saw it to, in action. You saw it in action. There yeah, was yeah. reason that, that he could have very well have, have been well-intentioned and truthful when he was making those statements on it. Well, it's also true that if you've watched him, he can change his mind. Well, Walker, mm -hmm. if you're Elon Musk and you have a, an EV... You know, mm -hmm. you, you invite all the EV makers, and you yeah, and you don't them. invite Tesla. That, that that's the probably the most absurd, ludicrous thing that's. There's no way to explain that. It, it with really the Biden got him mad, and it still. But gets how do you him explain mad. it? How do you explain and it? How do you explain it? Unions. Especially when Unions Biden. Unions is how you can uh, yeah. explain it. I'm well, not saying it's right. right. No, I'm I not saying it's right. That's the that's, rationalization. Okay, and then but, but wait, and then but, but, Twitter. Okay, Twitter was a, a a de facto arm of the Biden administration in the, in the DNC, and suddenly he comes in and totally pulls the rug out from all the liberals that love to have in their own news arm. That's not going to make people happy either. I know you don't think that's true. I don't think that's exactly totally what, true. But yeah. why not? What, you, you couldn't say anything on, on the old Twitter. Thing. I think that the old Twitter did a whole lot of being politically correct and woke and stopping certain types of speech. Stuff I don't we, think stuff it was that a whole, we could have used, stuff including that we could have used about things COVID, on COVID about, and about, lab leaks. I agree with you totally. Lab leaks, but I don't know that laptops and everything else. Right. And uh, you saw that in many newspapers. You saw that maybe even in this network some. And it wasn't because you were wholly owned by the DNC. It's because we kept too narrow the things we got to debate. And it was wrong. OK. So I, I want to go back, though, to um, some of the Delaware stuff. And I'm curious what you think of the compensation situation. I find that baffling. I mean, I, you're quoted in my book when they give out that compensation yep. package saying this is a real stretch. If he can pull this off, it will amaze people. If he can get through, I think there were five. Th five there, there were five targets or five or six targets, both on market cap, but more importantly, I would argue operationally. Right. How much how many could put out, right. how much uh, revenues, how much market yep. cap. You had to go through all of these and then, gauge, then you had and to hold it for five years, it. too. Do it for five years. And it, he gets nothing except if he goes through right. these things. And he says, OK, I take the bet. 2017, going into 2018, the whole place seems to be going bankrupt. People like yourself are saying, no way it seems that he will get to these goals. Yep. He takes it. He does it. They pay him. I cannot imagine how a Delaware Chancery Court uh, judge, right. I guess it is, could say, all right, do over, you don't get the money. What's the next step? What, what happens? It could go to the this? Delaware Supreme Court. I assume, and you've seen it in the Wall Street Journal today, I assume that Tesla and other companies like his will pull out of Delaware because you can't trust it now. And you see Nevada making a big run Nevada. to and say, Texas. Nevada. and Texas. Nevada. To, hmm? Nevada. Well, yeah, Nevada is Nevada. where. Nevada. 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 
Nevada. Joe has a thing about the pronunciation of the ask word anyone Nevada. Who's from there. Ask anyone who's from there. there How do you two? pronounce my home state? I, where? Louisiana. Missouri. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Illinois. Uh, but getting back to it, right. you know, I've tried to be objective in my book. I see all the things. I can see why people are furious at him. I can't see how you take the guy's compensation five years after it's been granted and say, oh, no, uh, the deal that 75 percent of stockholders made, uh, we're just going to revoke that and what, what take the money away. Did? I mean, it's bizarre. Even the purchase of Twitter and other things along the way. Like, what? I, it's crazy how it's all And if you up read, I actually, I think there are more than 200 pages. I read, of course, the thing. It was... I don't want to go too far here, but it was somewhat politically tendentious. You know, right. does the world's richest man need right. to, as opposed to the law says that? Yeah. Right. And well, look, to me at least, I don't know if you and agree. And shareholders with this. voted on it. That was the and so overwhelmingly. Really, but if you look through that decision, they're claiming that effectively that independent board isn't so independent. Which, by the way, well, that has an odious well, smell. May, may, may very well be true. That right? It may not be as independent, and they may not have. Taken, they have not, may not have negotiated as hard as they should have. I think we could probably all agree so. that that's the case. Having said that, there's this idea that because they were this independent board and they endorsed it, that the shareholders agreed to the deal because they were because they endorsed it. Meaning that this independent they, they, they was misrepresent. The argument is that effectively this yeah. independent board misrepresented themselves right. as being independent, and therefore wait, wait. Uh, that there and the was, was no was major the shareholder looking at Kimball nope. Musk and I other people on the board. I agree saying, with you. I'm and just they saying could that look at that deal that's and the they could read about it in the deal book column yep. of the New York Times. Yep. It had it exactly right, and they say here's how we voted. And even if there was some, you know, uh, right. non-independence on the board. You can go in then and say, wait a minute, this doesn't smell right. But to go in after he's accomplished every single one of, or almost every right. single one of those goals, gotten the money, use it to buy, then say, uh, no, no, we think five years ago is wrong. It's ridiculous. So you think the Delaware Supreme Court would, would overrule it? I think it should. I, I'm not a great predictor of Supreme Courts and states, but... I can't imagine the Delaware Supreme Court wouldn't overrule it. And by the way, it's going to hurt Delaware if it doesn't, because people say, wait, wait, you mean five years after something happens, eight years you after something happens, you'll go back and undo it?